So older adults with high-risk multiple myeloma is one of the areas that's least understood. When we look at octogenarians or older adults 80, who are 80 years and older, how we assess this pop patient population is probably the one of the most challenging. And I think uh, when it comes to older adults, um, many of the guidelines recommend a, a two or three drug approach, depending upon, uh, especially if they have high-risk disease, the way we would, do, we would do in a younger population. One of the ways that we do that in geriatrics is to do the slow-go approach, where we start with the two-drug regimen, make sure that they're tolerating it well, that, we're, that they're uh, clinically improving on a two-drug regimen, and then we embed the third drug to make sure that it's tolerant. There's also modifications of a three-drug combination, uh, such as RVD light, which has been uh, well tolerated in older adults and been well studied in older adults to be effective as well. And so I think, importantly for an older adult, if you're unsure about whether or not how toxic the reg regimen is going to be, where you begin may not be where you end, and so you can often start with a two-drug regimen and then embed in the third, the third drug to be able to um, treat an older adult the way you would a younger adult.